All right, I'm going to start today with a dumb question. Footsteps with the binos? Footsteps with the first aid kit. Why do my footsteps change depending on whether or not I'm carrying the first aid? Or the binos? That doesn't really make sense, does it? Some easy money to start the day. Damn near grand cash. Bingo. Pretty good spot here, too, if I can get him to come over that uh, crest there. So I just got another call from down the hill. The question is, was it the same one and he's moved on? Or is that a different one? Because if it's the same one, then I need to move that way. I think it's the same one. Hmm? Sounds like he's getting closer. Alright, it's been a minute. I'm not getting any more responses out of him. So I guess I need to move on down that way. See if I can't get eyes down there and see what it was that was making all a ruckus. Alright, well, at least that still means he's right down here somewhere. And Axis Deer. But really, I want the Red Deer. So I'm going to keep my focus for a minute. Keep moving left in these bushes here and see if I can't... Uh, still just trying to get eyes on to see what it is I'm looking at. Alright, well, both that red deer and that axis deer, wherever they went, they went. They went pretty quick, fast, and in a hurry, too, because... Uh, I just stopped getting responses, and I actually haven't even found their track yet, so I thought... From the sounds of it, he had come down off the hill. But I have no track for him, so... I'm just going to leave that one be. I'll keep circling around to see if I can get eyes on, but eventually I want to kind of be over on that side anyways. So this will work out. Because either... Either... More, I'll find more red deer. I always find red deer over there. And chances are he probably went that way too. Wait, what? How is that possible? I was just over there. Okay, so that's where I started. That's the hill I was on, and somehow he's made it behind me. Well, we'll waste a little money, and hopefully I can get him to come in a little bit closer. I wonder if he's bedded down. And that's how I was able to walk right by and not see him. Because I just, I just walked that hill. Wait, right there. What is that, a six? Maybe a seven? A five? Uh, we already did all this effort, might as well, right? That 
That was not a miss. I completely missed. I didn't account for the wind. Alright, well, on the plus side, there's my arrow in the embankment behind him. So, I, I probably shot too low. I don't, I don't think it was the wind that caught it. I think I just shot too low. But being as it's a five, I'm not that excited about it. I'm not going to put that much work into it. So, back to the holy dear lord, I hit one too many buttons. Uh, back to the original plan. Getting up and across my bridge. Uh, I'm pretty sure I know where his zone is anyways. If he were a seven, an eight, or a nine, sure. But a five, not even worth it. Now that, that is something worth trying to hunt. Hmm. Okay, if he is 270 yards and this bridge is 100 yards, this might get interesting quick. Looks like I'm going to want to work my way up around that way. The only sucky part is I am going to completely lose visibility for a good section of this. Rain! I actually don't know if that's going to help or hinder. Poor visibility, but at least I'll be silenced a little bit? I was going to say stifled, and I realized that's not the word I want. Now, if I remember correctly from the bridge, I should be able to just kind of poke my head up here. And I think he was in that valley there. Still can't really see him. Well, he's got to be just under the berm. Oh, he's attentive? What? I can't really see him, but he's right down there. So I guess I'm going to try and quietly crawl up to the next hill. Meanwhile, I need to keep my eyes on these ridge lines over here just in case he happens to wander off. So theoretically, as I crest this hill, I'm going to be like 80, 70 or 80 yards away from this guy. So it's just a matter of moving until I can get visual. And I was kind of afraid of that, that there's still more of a divot down in there. As much as I've been able to see the ridge lines, I haven't seen him wander out, so I really think he's still in there. But I could be wrong. Definitely not wrong. He is still right there. So he's just right there, taking himself a little bath. Alright, uh, there's this other ridge line here that's like, what is that, 22 yards? That'd take me down to about 46. Alright, I guess we're just gonna move in as close as we can, try and get it to that 40 yard mark. Just the uh, in between cuts here, the wind's been picking. Oh, oh. The wind's been gusting, the rain's been gusting. Come on, stay calm, you bugger. That's gonna be a problem. Yep. That's going to be a problem. I cannot get any closer. Because for me to get closer means I'll lose my shot. Alright, a 65 yard shot it is. Wait for him to go calm. Oh no. Didn't matter. It's been about 30, 40 minutes since I was halfway across that bridge crawling up to get, so I I didn't want to miss that opportunity. Lord, I hope I made a good shot on that. Gee, I wonder which way he went. Oh, yeah. That was at least a double lung, if not double lung liver. Alrighty, there he is. Let's see what we got here. 
That was double lung with the shoulder blade, just because. And the wind actually carried it forward a little bit on me, so I'm glad it didn't gust right there. He was a 37-33, so smack dab in the middle of gold. Eh, a little bit on the lower side, but still. 1,533 cash. I will take it. Being as he's just a 7, common fur color, I will not keep him, but I will definitely take the 1,500 cash. Now back to my original, I still want to find me a red deer. <gasps> oh, jeez. Well, I was looking for red deer and I found him. The wind, unfortunately, is going that way. Please don't tell me that four is going to be the best that's over in this. This area here is usually a pretty good spot for finding some big ones, but I might be wrong. I might take a pop at him just to get him out of here. Huh, no, doesn't look like he has any interest in coming back, and I have no interest in putting too much time into a four. Now I just gotta make sure I'm paying a little bit more attention. I was honestly kind of off in wall all in there for a second, because I didn't expect to see any for a couple more hills. But apparently, I was wrong. Hmm, there he is. He appears to be, be uh, he appears to be all by his lonesome. I wonder if he is responsive at all. Probably not. Yeah, he's on he's not responding, so we will move on. You get to live today, bud. Now that, on the other hand, that is a deer I want to get. That is a max weight class 7. So now I just have to get to that deer. Shouldn't be too difficult. We got uh, plenty of time before his zone is up. Alright, let's see. Wind is going that way. Was that him? I think that was him. Unless there's another one down there. Uh, but he's down in that little culvert, so the problem is I'm either going to have to sneak within, like, freaking 10, 20 yards to try and get a shot from here. Or I can go from up there and shoot down. That might be my best bet. How does this trail go? Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to take it slow and steady. we got plenty of time. And see what I can do about getting around behind him. On second thought, he is being very vocal, which makes me think he'll respond better to a call. I might be able to call him to me and just get in these trees over here. That's why. Right. There he is. And he's turned. Uh, did he? Maybe. Yeah, he's turned. And he's hopping. You know what? I like this top-down spot right here. This might be perfect. Right here. All right. Wait, did he just lay down? No, 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 come on. Come on, buddy. You're interested. It's going to be that easy. You're just going to walk right in for me? Come on. No, 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 no. Why are you traveling downwind? Do not travel anymore downwind. Come this way. Good, 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 good. I think he piled up right there. It worked. I didn't want him to get any further downwind and get into my trail because it's it's going 
That's kind of a what. I don't think he made it far, though. Did he? I thought I saw him go right over here. Good vital hit. High bleed rate. Okay, he's got to be right over here. I do kind of wish they would fix, like, the hitboxes on the racks of Red Deer, because that is annoying. You, you can't... There's no photo to take here, because even part of this rack here is underground. All right, let's see what we got. And he is a gold 19356, so that's pretty much right in between. And that was a 49-yard double lung, and I got the shoulder blade again. And again, I almost didn't account for the wind enough. It carried it forward, but it worked. Another 1600 cash, and I don't think I'll be keeping this one either. And it's about, uh, it's coming up on 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That means that for in-game at least, this has been a 9 hour day. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. That being said, there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't. And as always, buttons to push. Until next time.